So I'm going to be introducing Nadine Mathieu, who um, is from the Knowledge Society and uh, Unicorn People. Um, and uh, people know what unicorn companies are, right? So they're big startups that actually make billions of dollars. But what TKS is doing, which is really amazing, is that they're developing unicorn people to help affect change for billions of people in the world. So that's incredible. And on a personal note, um, I met both Nadine and Naveed uh, a few years back and was able to talk to them about their visions of changing education. And what you're going to be seeing today, or today is exactly that, uh, proof in the pudding of people doing amazing things. Um, and Nadim uh, has been, uh, before founding TTS, he was a consultant at McKinsey & Company where he advised a Fortune 500 CEOs on some of their most challenging issues. So let's welcome to the stage, uh, Nadim Navu. Yeah. Thank you. Hey, thanks, Lauren. Thank you. All right. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the TKS and Loyalty One Next Gen Track. I'm super pumped. And I'm pumped because this is literally the most exciting time in human history. Like when I was growing up, and I'm sure many of us, Software engineering was like the next big thing. If you were in software engineering, you were going to do something big. You were going to change the world, right? Today, we have things like artificial intelligence, quantum computing, nanotech, right? Innovations in alternative energy, blockchain, all that stuff that's going to dramatically change the way in which we live in the next five to 10 plus years. So when we think about, you know, San Francisco, and Lauren mentioned this, we have this term called unicorn. Uh, unicorn companies, which is billion dollar companies that are less than 10 years old. And they're called unicorn companies because they're rare and they're special. Because it's a hard feat to do that in such a short period of time. It's taken traditional companies 20, 30, 50 years to become billion dollar companies. And then there are startup accelerators whose sole mission is to develop unicorn companies, right? To help them be set up for success and have the mentors, to, tools, skills, whatever, to do that. Our mission at TKS is to develop unicorn people, the people who are going to dramatically change the world. right? And it's our job to help them develop the mindset, skill set, knowledge, and networks to do that. Because the reality is, is these technologies that I talked about, these exponential technologies, we're not just working on them or looking into them for the sake of looking into technologies. They are tools to help solve really important problems in the world. But the reality is, is that there's not enough smart people in the world working on these problems. And as a civilization, the strategy that we're taking is we're crossing our fingers, holding our breath for someone to come along and solve some of these really important problems. If we think about hunger, if we think about health care, affordable housing, all this stuff. There's a handful of people in the world working on uh, genome mapping and gene sequencing, really understanding our genes to uh, cure diseases, as an example. Handful of companies. There's a handful of companies in the world working on new ways to make food, right? With lab-grown or plant-based meat. Only a handful. Handful of companies in the world working on affordable housing. It's just not enough, right? And so how can we intentionally build people to specifically solve these problems? If you use a sports analogy right, about you know, a young person who wants to compete for Olympic level swimming, as an example, they don't just turn 20 years old and go, hmm, you know what, I want to compete for the Olympics. That's not how it works. right? What do you do? You start young, you get a trainer, and you train. And I don't care if you have one leg. If you invest 1,000 hours into swimming, you will be a better swimmer. But what about these young people who want to be Olympic level CEOs, innovators, thought leaders, researchers? What institution do you go to to get those 1,000 or 10,000 hours? It just doesn't exist. And so that's what TKS is about. And that's what today is about. Today, it's about showcasing these young people who are making their initial strides to become these unicorn people, looking into exponential technologies, becoming young thought leaders. And my hope is that after today, you will leave here with your minds blown. Okay? There are very, very few places where, where you'll get to learn about quantum dots, for example, next generation solar technology, which Cassia is going to talk about. 
There are very few places in the world where you're going to learn about how nanotechnology can dramatically improve gene sequencing by 10 times, right? Or how to improve nuclear fission reactors, which a lot of people are kind of iffy about right now, but th the challenge is that we just don't have a lot of information about it. So I'm really excited. I'm going to get off stage. But my hope uh, and my expectation is that your minds will be blown. So again, thanks a lot for being here, and we'll get started soon. <laughs>